This is the Vivo Y83 Pro and this is my unboxing and hands-on of the Vivo Y83 Pro. Yeah. I take a cold hard look at the world now. Hold my hand yeah. Got a plan now. I'm a help you to change cuz I can now. Here I stand now. Take my hand now. The Vivo Y83 Pro looks like a beautiful smartphone which costs only around 16,000 rupees in India. It is a direct competition to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And the first thing that you notice when you take the phone in your hand is this gorgeous display. Of course, it's not a full HD display. It has only a 720p display with a pixel density of around 270 ppi. The display is a 6.22 inch 1520 into 720p pixel display which is an IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen display. The phone looks beautiful from the front, it looks almost like the OnePlus 6 and other smartphones with a notch. Now let's deep. Now let's go see the interface. As you can see this is the control center kind of thing that we will copy it from the Apple iPhone and you can, uh, swiping from the top you can see the notification tray and there isn't much in this smartphone because there is no app drawer here it's kind of like what Xiaomi is doing and Apple they are all copying Apple OS so that's it guys now you can see the settings there is a lot of menus there are a lot of settings and options in this but the only feature that is missing is there is no search option in this and it is a bit difficult to actually find certain things from this settings so as you can see the phone is running android 8.1 out of the box and it has a 4 gb ram and a 64 gb of internal storage and what is running on top is fun touch os 4.0 that is like a custom skin that vivo makes for android phones as you can see the ima number everything is actually shown here sim status ip address everything is shown in this menu well the battery on this smartphone is 3260 milliampere battery but that uh, there was a concern for me because the battery was pretty small for such a big screen but as of now the phone is performing really great i'm getting uh, more than a full day of charge from this battery maybe this is primarily because of the low power consumption mediatek processor it uses a mediatek helio p22 chipset which is an octo chipset and it has four two gigahertz arm a53 cores and 1.5 gigahertz into four arm cortex a53 processor and the RAM management on this phone is pretty amazing. You get always around 2 GB of RAM free out of the 4 GB. And the internal storage, as you can see, there is a total of 64 GB out of which you get around 40 GB for your needs. And there is face unlock and fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is one of the fastest that I have ever used in this category at least in this price range the fingerprint is really responsive it doesn't matter if you have dirt on your hand it still works and the face unlock it still works great but it is not that reliable at some places the best thing i like about this interface is the user interface and the multitasking menu that you just saw right now so coming close to this you can see the notch yes the notch is present here and after using it for a couple of days, I can say that the notch is not that distracting. Most of the apps are optimized for the notch, but the problem is I couldn't find any option in the settings menu which I can, which disables the notch. But there are other third-party options available in Play Store which lets you disable the notch. At least cover up the notch with the black bar. So as you can see, the camera, the camera is what Vivo has focused here. They have a dual camera on the back and an 8 megapixel front facing camera the front facing camera has an ai mode which actually makes your images look amazing but the back camera is, is not up to the mark i'm sure the back dual camera is just for showpiece because i don't see any use in having that camera on the back the pictures were so bad that i didn't even post it on this video but the pictures and videos from the front facing camera i'll be posting it in the end of the video so that you can actually see them and see how 
the camera quality on this smartphone is there is no shutter lag everything is smooth the front facing camera is really great it makes the pictures look amazing i mean compared to other phones of this same category the front facing camera is really great it makes the skin looks smooth it's actually made for girls it makes the phone uh, skin look smooth and it is it makes you look perfect I'll be posting the pics at the end of the video. Make sure you see the video, uh, see that. I'll be posting a sample video as well. And as you can see, there is the AI button. There is also a beautify button. But I suggest you keep it at AI so that it actually makes the picture looks great. It compared to the beauty mode that Vivo provides. The front facing camera also has live focus. I'll be showing the samples at the end of the video and on the back you can shoot at 1080p 720p and 480p videos and I will be showing you the footage from the back camera on at the end of this video make sure you see that but the picture quality from the back is not that great and the video quality is not that great as well as you can see look at my selfies I look so perfect in this my skin looks so perfect it is really great for online social sharing and this is the bokeh mode on the front facing camera the viewer has done a good job in detecting the edges and there's the video from the front facing camera unfortunately front facing camera only lets you shoot at 720p that is the only drawback i found but it is not that great the stabilization is not that great but it still good look and does a good job this is the video footage from the back camera as you can see it can shoot at 1080p 30 frames per second the cam back camera looks there is not enough light coming to the back camera that is clearly evident from this i was shooting this video in a well lit environment still the pictures look a bit dull and it, it is not at all sharp so the back camera is the weakest part of the smartphone this is the face unlock that i was talking it works 99 percent of the time but it sometimes fails and when it fails we have to actually unlock and lock the phone and then press unlock to actually make the face unlock work again so the call quality is amazing we get dual VOLT on the smartphone and that's it guys and this is the Vivo Y83 Pro I will see you guys in the next video and make sure you subscribe to my channel I will be dropping the new video of the Redmi Note the Galaxy Note 9 so make sure you subscribe to my channel I will see you guys in the next video peace out guys As you can see the game is running perfectly As you saw the game is running, running perfectly fine So let's close this game and jump to another game Well I would suggest we go for Modern Combat 5 It is a more demanding game than GT Racing 2 
well in modern compact 5 i can see that the game graphics is set to low i don't know how to increase the graphics but the game is actually really playable it can be played as you can see the notch is also not visible while playing modern compact 5 so let's continue for a bit and the phone the phone is not heating up at all the phone is absolutely cool the back side of the phone is cool it is not even getting warm i have been playing for like 5 minutes right now so let's play some more and see